Hey there YouTube, my name is Sparrows, coach of the New England Eevee Illusions, the Mono Ghost team of the YouTubers Mono Tech Tournament. And today we have our first match back from the holiday breaks. Probably one of our last matches as the league seems to be disintegrating on us. Uh, and this is our match up against the Mono Fire team, the Taino Talon Flames. Uh, coached by Zen Jester, who is, I would say, probably the most skilled player in this league. Uh, he just, he's really good. Above you can see the team that I think he's bringing, and the team that I'm bringing to counter it is in the corner there. Now, if you want to see why I built this team, you can click the link right there. Uh, it wasn't, it's been a while, I wasn't sure what the link would be. It's going to be over there, most definitely. You can click the link right there, and it'll bring you to my team building video, and it'll sort of explain everything without you having to listen to it if you're not interested at all. Uh, this is our rematch. We beat him the first time. We're bringing a whole lot of tricks this time so that we can secure ourselves a second victory. And we're going to see if it works. So yeah, let's get into this. So here's the team he's actually bringing. As you can tell, the, he's not bringing the Talent Flame, which is a smart decision. And he's bringing Arcanine. I don't know what type of Arcanine he likes to run. I don't know anything about his Arcanine. If it's an Intimidate, uh, physically defensive Arcanine, it might have some trouble with it. Uh, I, I'll have some ways around it, but I'm, I, that's something I am worried about going into this match. Also, this match is filmed from his perspective. I just remember that. It's filmed from his perspective uh, because I forgot to record the video after the match. Because I was just so excited about winning or losing. We don't know. So, here we go. Let's start up the match. Now, the plan here is to lead with Andronicus, the oh, our great goaler. He has a Metal Herb on him so he can absorb any taunt that his Infernate likes to run. So here, right here, we're going to break the taunt and we're going to get our rocks up. And our rocks will do a whole lot of work for us. Uh, since he has no way to get rid of them, he can't Rapid Spin. And he could Defog and discharge them, that can be kind of weird. So he's going to go for his own rocks here, but we go for a Dynamic Punch. Uh, just so that we can confuse up the Infernape and we can get a possible safe switch. Now I'm just going to switch out Andronicus. I want to keep him nice and healthy because he's going to do a lot of sweeping. We get Trick Room up. We're going to go into Spike here. Spike is our wild card, our mischievous. And Spike, what he's going to do is he is going to set up a Trick Room on this Infernape. We can live any attack Infernape brings out. And Infernape instead hits itself in confusion twice. So we get pretty lucky early on here. And that's good for us. Here's our Trick Room. Now, our, the only attack we have on Mr. Biss is Psychic, specifically for that Infernape, actually. Uh, but since we have the, uh, what's it called, the Trick Room up, I'm just gonna use Momentum to swing the Pendulum into our favor so we can get Golark in, and we don't have to worry about this Hound Doom doing a lot of damage to us. It goes for Dark Pulse, but it doesn't hit anything, which is really great. So we, we have Andronicus in, and here I'm going for, I'm expecting the Arcanine to come out. So I'm going for a Dynamic Punch. And he brings out his Chandler, and it was it was, it was a stupid decision. I haven't played Pokemon in a while, I got really rusty here. Uh, I should've just gone for a Stone Edge. Uh, he would hit everything on his team for a two hit KO and we're fastest. But he brings out his Chandler, and then I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta use Stone Edge. So I Stone Edge. Uh, and he, he was going to switch out into his Charizard because he was expecting me to Earthquake there and he's trying to outpredict me. Uh, I should have just gone with Stone Edge and been a smart player in the first place. He brings out his Torkoal. His Torkoal is slower than us. We're still in your Trick Room and goes for a Lava Plume. Hopefully he does not burn. He doesn't burn and we're able to get an Earthquake off. And the Earthquake kills Torkoal and... Dang it! Golurk is so good! The Dimensions return and he brings out his... What I'm guessing is his choice scarf or chandelier. Uh, I switch out Golurk because I want to keep Golurk in case Arcanine uh, is physically defensive because Earthquake does nearly... Oh, it does one, one hit KO with rocks. So I bring out Hopkins. Uh, Hopkins takes a whole lot of damage and I just, instead of recovering and doing that whole ordeal, I go for Rain Dance here, uh, hoping that maybe I can get out my Gelson in a few turns and start sweeping under a Trick Room uh, Jellicent. 
and sweep, which would be really cool to see. I bring out Numina. Now, Numina is carrying the Castle Berry, so I'm able to absorb Ghost Tech attacks, because I knew this situation was going to come out. So Numina absorbs the Shadow Ball. We go for a Hidden Power Rock, which will kill his Chandler or any switch-ins that he might have, and we're able to take out his Chandler with our Chandler, which is really great. Uh, we don't have to worry about speed times or anything like that, which is ideal. Now, he brings out his Houndoom, and his Houndoom is most likely going to go for a Sucker Punch. There's a Sucker Punch. We're going to go for Confuse Ray. Just nix that and let the Confusion Hacks help us out once again. Uh, still kind of worried about Sucker Punch, so I go for a Calm Mind here, which was the correct play, uh, more or less, in terms of playing the Houndoom. Uh, it snaps out of Confusion, unfortunately, and we, we were going for an attack, hoping for the Confusion and the that he would be slower as well with the Dark Pulse. But unfortunately, he snaps out of Confusion, and also the rain ends, and now I'm shaking in my boots. I had all the momentum. I... Luckily, I have Bakhtin. Bakhtin can live a life orb. No, I can't. And I'm realizing I did my calcs wrong. And what I should have done there is I should have recovered. But I, I lost Bakhtin. And now everything on my team goes down to Dark Pulse. So unless Grand Grand can hold it. Nope, Grand Grand can't hold it. We lose Grand Grand. And we bring out uh, Andronicus, and Andronicus can't take on this and the Arcanine and live. So he goes for Destiny Bond though, which is really great because it lowers the score down to a 1-0 loss for us, which is nice. Uh, we go for Dynamic Punch, hoping that maybe Confusion X would come in our favor. He switches out to his uh, uh, Arcanine. We lose Andronicus, and this is our first loss, uh, doing on Evolutions. I gotta say, the team was great. My te I did all the right team prep. Every trick on our team worked more or less. The rain dance didn't really work, and I could have saved that for our next rematch. And I really, what I should have done is I should have let Golurk go down so that Sableye can take care of the rest of his team. Because uh, Sableye could most definitely take care of the Houndoom. Anyways. It is what it is. We lost. We'll get over it. Uh, <laughs> will I get over it? I don't know. I was being really, I was really attached to that, that win streak, undefeated season, uh, right through our fingers. Because I'm a cocky son of a bitch. <sighs> Anyways, sorry, I like turned away from the camera. That's what I can do with all this space now. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. My name is Sparrows. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you like this video, check out my Donald Trump Plays Pokemon video. I'm starting up a new series, Sparrows Plays Pokemon, which I'm really proud of the Donald Trump Plays Pokemon video, so please check that out. Uh, and have a nice day!